In this video we're going to cover the safe discharge of a lipo pack. Uh, first method I'm going to cover is uh, resistance discharge and after this one we'll do a salt water bath discharge on the remaining pack. Here we have a laptop hooked up to a Mountain Engineering uh, CBA3 battery resistance, uh, basically a small load bank for uh, batteries. And I have it wired into a damaged lipo pack um, from a flight. Uh, pack lasted about 15 flights after the slight damage to it, and then one of the cells went open during the middle of a flight. This pack has been on discharge for about one hour at a 2 amp discharge rate. You can see how the cells themselves have uh, expanded a little bit. Um, they were slightly puffed to start with. Uh, it was one of the early series uh, red pulse packs that had a tendency of uh, getting a little chubby. Here you can see the amount of swelling that the individual cells experience. Um, this pack was discharged at a rate of 2 amps. It's a 5000 milliamp 6S uh, pulse lipo pack and it's been discharging for a little over an hour. Total pack voltage now is below 0.4 volts. Um, I'll wait till it drops down to zero on the discharge cycle and then tie the positive and negative ends together for uh, disposal. So here we are going to proceed with the resist, excuse me, the salt brine discharge method for trying to make a lipo pack safe. We're going to let the pack discharge in a salt water brine for about three days. We'll return to the pack cut the uh, protective wrapping off of the pack and measure the individual cell voltages. As you can see right now, we have uh, some type of current flow through the brine solution from the negative terminal across to the positive terminal, which isn't fizzing. Um, and we'll see. Uh, my assumption right now is the terminal ends will oxidize over Hopefully they won't oxidize over before the pack fully discharges, but we'll sh we shall find out in about three days. All right, so let's test out our method of safe lipo disposal. There has been talk on the internet about uh, saltwater baths for lipo disposal or making it safe to throw in the trash. Uh, I'd kind of say if you want to do an after treatment, after you resistively discharge a pack and give it a saltwater bath, I would say that's okay, but this pack that was sitting in a brine solution for three days, after I clean some of the corrosion off the terminals, I have three to four volts across the entire pack. So right now, to see if it is indeed considered safe for disposal, I'm going to drive a nail through all of the cells, and we'll see what the reactivity of the pack is that was discharged through a brine solution. There's the reactivity of discharging just, oh, I should say piercing just the first cell.
Now we're down to probably the second cell going into the third cell. Uh, reactivity is not what we're used to seeing on the internet with the fireball roaring out of the cell, but there is enough heat and uh, small ember or burning flame inside the cell to support combustion on some dry material, say in the back of a garbage truck. Down probably to the fourth cell of a 6S pack and uh, again some heat, uh, gas venting, nothing spectacular. But I definitely wouldn't consider that pack safe to be thrown out in the garbage to wind up in the back of a garbage truck or at a landfill. And I'm going to take this pack now that it's punctured through and through and reinduce it to the salt bath, totally neutralize it, and uh, dispose of it. And now here is a similar success pack, same manufacturer, same uh, cell rating, same opacity uh, that has been discharged via the uh, mountain engineering uh, resistive uh, load tester for batteries. I'm going to proceed with the uh, same procedure and drive a nail through all six packs and see what reactivity is left in a pack that received just resistive discharge. As you can see, the pack that was resistively discharged down to about 0.4 volts and then had its positive and negative leads uh, shorted out has absolutely zero reactivity once the cells are punctured. So uh, my recommendation to you guys, I know I'm definitely using a resistive method, um, I'd say to either invest in the resistive uh, load tester for the batteries or you can rig up your own uh, type of artificial load via a car headlight or two hooked in series or some type of other large wattage resistor but uh, the resistive method is definitely cleaner and does get to pack down to what I would say zero reactivity to puncturing. The Ryan solution for a pack that has any kind of charge in it is uh, not a viable solution and if you're going to discharge a pack down to zero and then put it in a brine solution, I think that's just an extra wasted step. Plus, you got the mess of what's left in the brine to contend with.